In a forgotten cave under an old battlement, a broken body lies pierced and exhausted, barely clinging to life. When the player enters, the faceless last giant stirs and tears itself from its imprisonment with sudden and inexplicable murderous rage, almost as though it recognizes you. The giants of Dark Souls 2 are interesting designs. They are huge, stone-like humanoids with holes where their faces ought to be. Typically, they're dressed somewhat like your stereotypical fantasy barbarian, naked and wild, save for loincloths or rags, and indeed, they came to Drang Lake as a conquering horde, retaliating against Vendrick's violent campaigns. The last giant, at least on initial encounter, seems every bit that wild kind of savage, even tearing its own arm off to use as a club as it tries to destroy you. But of course, it's not the only corpse in Drang Lake animated only by violent savagery. Mindlessly aggressive hollows are the majority of the enemies that you face early on, and hollowness is the fate that the player themselves are fighting against. And in that way, thematically, The Last Giant is a confrontation with that, with the threat and horror of hollowness. This is the fate that awaits you should your quest in Drang Lake fail. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.